put a lot of effort into her butt, okay? All I was doing was appreciating that. I'm being polite. Oh, please, you are practically drooling. Help me, Rick. You know what? Men are so disgusting. You're my only help. Help me, Rick. Tim? <laughs> in trouble? Went back in time and got arrested? I got, I got to save him. <sighs> I'm coming, Tim! <laughs> One fateful day, broken down and out of options, Tim and Rick stumbled upon a long-forgotten recipe. Ancient secret fish sauce. Hot as balls, hot sauce. And saliva of the chosen. When combined, the ingredients granted them the ability to travel through time. This is Tim and Rick's Time Machine! I present the Honorable Lord Godiva! Dude, white people been dancing like that for a really long time. It must be like culture. All right, all right, let's get this crap over with. The defendant stands accused of peeping at my wife as she rode through the city on a horse naked. Guess this case needs a name, so we'll call this one the People versus Peeping Tom. Uh, Tim. What? The defendant's name is Tim, Your <laughs> Honor. Oh, all right, well, I already wrote it down, so let the record show his name is Tom. You can't change my name, bro. Already did. I do what I want, it's Awesome. So do you guys have like a defense or witness before I pronounce you guilty? Uh, yes, the defense would like to call Tim, um, the defendant to the stand, please. Bring it. Oh, chill, big show. Would the defendant please recount his steps on the events in the night in question? Mm-hmm. So check it out. What had happened was, it all started when I was minding my own business just admiring the craftsmanship of a nearby fence. Man, now that is a fence. When I heard a commotion. What's that commotion? Commotion? Yeah, yeah, a commotion. Let's get to it! Okay, yeah. So, when you supposedly peeped at Lady Godiva, can you explain to us what exactly happened? Yeah, so like I was saying, I heard a commotion. So I took a quick peep. Oh my God. She's butt naked. So just a peep. Just a peep. Yo, look at her boobies. Didn't stare, didn't leer. Of course not. I assessed the situation and I moved on. Look at her vagina all bouncing around. Sweet. And that's how it happened. So, Tom, how did you first learn of Lady Godiva's naked ride? All right, so I was, I was sitting at home one night, super bored, and decided to Google naked history boobs. Naked history boobs? Interesting. And what did you find? I found an article about Lady Godiva. I learned that she rode through her city naked to lower taxes on the peasants. I knew I had to support her noble cause. Your selflessness is an inspiration to us all. But one last thing. Who's better at Mario Kart? Uh, objection! Ah, you're under oath. <sighs> you are. You damn right. <laughs> In summation, man or woman, we are all allowed to take a quick glance when we see someone attractive in public. My client did not catcall Lady Godiva. He did not whistle at her. He didn't even ask for her number. He simply assessed the situation and kept it moving, okay? We should not be locking this man up. No, we should not. We should be giving him a medal. He did not stare at Godiva tits. Godiva tits were staring at him. Yeah. The defense rests. What? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. And I nailed it too. You missed it. Oh, you killed it, dude. Hell yeah. The defendant is guilty! What? That's literally like one of the first things I said. 
You're guilty. I sentence you to be blinded with a hot poker. What? That's messed up. And you, lawyer guy, your eyes are getting poked out too. Ah! And you know what? I'm feeling saucy too. All you dudes clapped so you're all losing your eyes. Ah! Poke their eyes out. Has Tim seen his last pair of boobs? Is the girl Ricky left at his apartment going through his things? Find out. Oh shit, right now. <laughs> Gaze at my junk and know that you are inferior! It's beautiful. Look at my dick, y'all! Look at my dick! Look at it! Yes! Yeah! How y'all like that? Let's uh, let's get out of here. I am starving. Wait, what was that? What? Oh, my magic dick? I, I didn't tell you how to magic dick. No. Oh, dude, for like three years now. Really? You wanna get some Korean barbecue? Yeah, I'm down. But like, magic dick? Yeah, I mean, I still have to wear condoms, but I don't. <laughs> Summon my wizard. I want a magical cock too. <laughs> Mr. Roosevelt, it's me. I'm your son, little Timmy. Excuse me? Remember a few years ago when you cheated on Eleanor with those groupies? Well, pull out game week, bro, cause I'm all grown up now. You can't be my son, you're, you're Asian.